Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, may the Lord give you peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. I think we all have the tendency when we have to deal with painful things in our lives, decisions to be taken, that we delay them. <clears throat> I will do it tomorrow, the day after tomorrow. And it could be also, and very often it is the case, with our conversion, with our repentance about the sins. And today, the scripture readings remind us that, first of all, now, now come back to me with all your heart. Don't delay it. And St. Paul equally in his first letter to the Corinthians, a second letter to the Corinthians, is telling us now is the favorable time. Do it. Take a decision. Direct your life according to the right compass. And you do it. That is taught us by Jesus in the gospel today on three pillars. One is to do good to those who are in need, almsgiving then through prayer and through fasting. But we know that even religious things very often can be perverted to hypocrisy, as Jesus said, when we make a show of it. Then we have to be very careful, also during the Lenten season. Don't make a show out of religious behavior. It is a discreet thing of our heart, but that shouldn't be an excuse to do nothing. Of course, we are invited to do good, but the left doesn't know what the right is doing. Don't make a story that we are praying even more than during the rest of the year, but we do it not a show mass, we do not star. And the same is true with our fasting. But each one of us has means how to do it in his personal life. So my dear friends, we do it now, starting in order that on Easter we can renew in a wonderful way our baptism vow and again profess our belonging to Jesus Christ because that is the goal that we are renewing through a process of repentance and conversion during these 40 days our belonging to the crucified and risen Lord. Amen.